Hi everybody, welcome back to Nacy's Closet. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this shawlette. This is a shawlette that wraps around the front of your neck. The pointy part wraps around the front of your neck and these two ends go around the back of your neck so that this part is in the front. I'm still new, so I don't have a mannequin or anybody here right now to show you, but that's how you wear it. You wear it in the front. So this measures, this particular one measures about 18 up and down. 18 up and down this way. It measures about 27 on the sides and it measures 35 at the top. I have made larger ones that were 19 up and down, 44 across, and 30 inches on the side. Let's get started. I'm going to be using a large eye needle, H hook, or five millimeter, scissors and I'm going to try this yarn. It's called Sunset Nights by Lion Brand. The color is Xanabar. It's 90% acrylic, 10% polyester, 273 yards so you'll probably need two. Number four, number four on the label. Okay, let's get started. This is very easy. It can be a shawlette or a shawl. I'm going to leave a long tail, leave a long tail so you can hide it. Hide the, uh, the thread when you're done with the uh, Charlotte. So, we're going to draw up a loop. And those, or you can do a knot. You can do a loop this way. Wrap it twice. Back to front. Back to front and over, and that's your loop. Okay, we are gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do three double crochets into the very first chain. Three double crochets. One, two, three. We're going to chain one and do a double crochet right back into the very first chain. Chain four. One, two, three, four, and turn. We're going to do three double crochets into this first open space right here. See the open space? We're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. 
we're going to skip the three double crochets that you see here and go to the end where the next open space is. And we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. We're going to chain one. And we're going to do a double crochet right back into this chain four space. Okay. So now you have row one and row two. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to turn. We're going to do three double crochets in this chain four space. We're going to skip the three double crochets and we're going to do three double crochets in this space. We're going to skip these three double crochets and we're going to do three double crochets in this chain four space. One, two, three. Okay, we did three. Now you're going to chain one. And you're going to do another double crochet. You're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Remember, when you get to each end, when you get to the open spaces on each end, this open space and this open space, that's where you do three double crochets, chain one, and do another cro double crochet in the same space. In this space, three double crochets. One, two, three. Skip these three double crochets, go into the next space. One, two, three. Skipping the next three double crochets into this space, you do three double crochets. One, two, three. Skipping these three double crochets, going into the last open space where you chain four, and you're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, do one more double crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and turn. See how it's growing? You have your first row, you have your first row, you have your second row, you have your third row, you have your fourth row, and it keeps spreading. Row five, three double crochets, one, two, three. You go into the next open space. One, two. Three. 
Next open space. One. Two. Three. Next open space. One. Two. Three. Your last open space. One. Two. Three. Chain one. And double crochet into the same space. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And turn. Now you have five rows. So continue on and um, I'm going to do a few more rows and I'm going to show you what I do when I have it as big as I want it. I just did a few more rows. I'm going to show you what I do when I'm done. When I made it as big as I want it to be, what I do is... Okay, I'm going to take this away. I did my three double crochets in the last space. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to double crochet into the last space. Instead of chaining four, I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to double crochet in the space and on top of every double crochet. I'm going to do a single crochet. So I'm going to do a single crochet in, this, in that one space and every double crochet. I'm going to do a single crochet. Not in the spaces here, but in the double crochets, I'm doing a single crochet. Just in the double crochets. Just in the doubles. The last double. And in the open space. That's where that I do, that's where you do your double crochet so that the top and around your neck is just straight and it makes it even. You see that? Now, if you want to, you can chain one. I mean, you can leave it just like this if you want. Or you can chain one And you can single crochet down the sides. One, two. I'm going to say three. In the, oh, well, you have to judge, you have to test it. Because you don't want to make it bulky. 
but you can single crochet down the sides. Like that. You can single crochet along the sides if, if you want. You don't have to. And where you see this space here, there's this space here. I tend to single crochet in there and do two single crochets after that space. Here I would do. Let me see. I did two double crochets. When you get to the point, see this point here? You would do three in that space. Wait a minute. Let me put this in the back. You would do three at the point. One, two, three at the point. And then go up the sides. As you can see, I'm hiding the loose thread as I go, but you can single crochet just across or all the way around if you want. That's if you want to. Just try to do it evenly so that it doesn't bunch, bunch up. And here we are. Now, if you want I will clean this up later, but as a matter of fact, I'm going to cut this. Okay. If you want, you can chain one. Let me see. Chain one and turn. And I'm going to, okay, see, this is the shape right here. If you want to, you can do two, you can do two single crochets in the first two single crochets. When you get to the third single crochet, you can chain three, single crochet, chain three, and then take your hook and go right into this, the single crochet right here, right in front, and do a slip stitch all the way through. And then single crochet the next three in the next three single crochets. You can say the next three or four. I'm going to say the next four single crochets. 
And after you do the fourth single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. And then you're going to bring your hook right into the single crochet in the front. In the front. And do a slip stitch all the way through all the loops. And then do four single crochets again into the next four single crochets. And in the fourth single crochet, chain three and go right into the front of the single crochet into these two loops right here and just slip stitch all the way through. And then do four single crochets again. And do your chain threes and do your, this is what you call a pico that you can do all the way around your shawl or shawlette. But you leave it straight here that wraps around your neck. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment. And I'll be back again with more tutorials for you. Have a good day and see you next time.